My pickup line for this girl is what's your stance on chicken? <laughs> Good morning, another video from our Holland trip. Day three. We got the M2 right there. Amrit, car vlogger in the M2. If you haven't already, please remember to subscribe to get more of this content. And like, and like, right, we're back in the I-8. We've just been dropped off, we parked here yesterday. If you guys don't know already, we got carbon fiber on the doors, beautiful car. We're gonna go visit Utrecht, uh, which is a city near Amsterdam. So Amrit actually lives here and he's gonna show us around a bit. However, I want to, ooh, 7,000 kilometer service is due on this car, great. I want to charge this car because we're out of electric battery and I like it in electric mode. First mission of the day will be finding somewhere to charge the I-8. It's gonna be a good day, Seb. You ready for today? I'm loving the enthusiasm. Yes! This is not what I need, Amrit. No! I need electric battery power, not fuel. What is, what, uh, is that for the doors? Yeah. We got Mr. 20% Luck here. He's my favorite music maker artist. Is that what you, oh wow, what was that? That was replay. <laughs> artist, is that what you, oh wow. <laughs> Amrit, I have an electric car. There's not many things I can do here. It's gonna be the first time I charge an electric car. I don't even know whether, I think it's here. Hey, I found it. What, 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 oh! Get out of my face! Oh. It's about time I walk you around the BMW i8. Uh, the next video is going to be with the M2. This is the most expensive M2 possibly in the world. Spec that, we got the whole spec sheet. But that video is gonna be coming in the next couple of days. But right now, it's all about this, all about the BMW i8. This isn't no normal i8. This is what we call the Protonic Edition. Now then, all these cars come four wheel drive. It's actually got an electric engine, which I've mentioned before, which we can need to charge, but apparently this charges here. And a three cylinder petrol engine in the back. The electric is in the front. The three cylinder engine is kind of what you get and all the minis and things like that. It looks very futuristic. You've got all of these cool little air inlets right here. Actually, we've tested it. You can actually throw a bottle down here and it goes all the way through. It's very, very cool. It looks very futuristic, but I'm gonna get inside because it is pouring down with rain and I'm gonna talk to you about it more from within the vehicle. I think the lens has gotten a bit. There we go. Inside the BMW i8, very BMW, slightly different cabin to all of the others. Uh, this is their i line, so their electric line. But the way I have now um, figured this car out is you can't look at this as purely a sports car because it is not a thoroughbred, very engaging drive. This is an absolutely brilliant, futuristic, sports like looking daily effectively. I think this would work best if you wanted a kind of somewhat sports car experience but you're going to drive this car a lot. Extremely com comfortable, the electric engine makes it so so smooth. Four wheel drive means you can go anywhere. You've got two back seats in the back in case you want to bring someone with you. And it's just a brilliant car for using on a day to day basis. The boot is not massive but you can use the back seats to put big bangs which is what we've been doing. It's got an amazing Harman Kardon sound system, very light power steering and just overall if you're going to drive this all the time, it's not too low, it's very usable, you can see out of it quite easily, it's not too wide, it just makes for a brilliant daily. Not the most engaging drive, so I wouldn't say if you're after a full sports car, this is the car to go for, but if you've got a sports car or if you're just looking for a daily that looks very cool, this could be the car for you. So I love this as a concept for a daily, they're quite expensive still, they're about 80 to 90,000 euros second hand uh, with decent mileage. So. Yeah, that, that, it doesn't make them very cheap, not very affordable, but it's a very, very cool car that gets a lot of attention. This particular spec is quite low key, but it's still getting a bunch of attention when we drive around. It's got some cool features, like at night, all of these lights sort of light up and give you a very cool um, sort of cabin. And then uh, the doors, I was wondering this before, where's the door handle? Because in Aventador's, it's something that you pull here for these butterfly doors, kind of. Here, it's a button that you press and then you push up and it exposes all of the carbon uh, in there. You've got one screen in front of you here, another screen there. When you switch the car on, now the car is running, but it is in electric mode, even though I'm out of battery, it's got just a tiny bit. Oh God, the seatbelt's gonna make noise. And switch it off. Here you've got your different modes. So you've got comfort, where it'll use the petrol engine most of the time, and Eco Pro, and then when you put the car all the way over, so you put it down into drive, and then you put it into sport. Everything goes all red, and the le and the petrol engine comes on straight away. But if you whack it back into drive, and uh, normally, and then you put it into Eco Pro, the engine switches off. Loads of little cubbies around here. That's where you plug in your USB. Then you got the glove box right here, which is surprisingly. 
big actually and then cup holders which you can remove which go in right there and yeah the seats are very comfortable it's very nice and spacious in here perfect spot for oreos all you really need this is going to be the boot test so we're removing these free speakers which we gave away in the last video if you headphones. haven't seen that already headphones uh you can go see that the electric charger thank you very much whoa do we reckon i can get into this i don't know but if i can that makes this officially the best daily out there obviously i am a huge very strong enormous human being so if i can do this anyone can sarcasm by the way if you didn't get that he actually looks like a bag <laughs> I just realized I have the key, so then once I'm in, you guys can't take me out. <laughs> okay, I'll give this to you so you can do it. Wait, is this the best way to do it, or maybe like this? That's no, it's not going to work. Ow! Squash it. <laughs> yeah, squat. Just get, push it a little bit. Oh, shit. This is, uh, I don't know how to open it. How do we open it? Uh, I'm not going to leave it in there until it gets... How do you open it, Amrit? <laughs> oh, that's horrible. But it works, best daily ever. Ooh. <laughs> Whilst you observe your car, I'm running out of electricity on my car. Wait, stand here, over here. Oh, hey, lighting's much better. Do you know where I can charge? Let's go. Are you ready for your first charge experience? Let's do it. Bit of a fail. Uh, the place we thought had an electric thing does not quite have uh, the electrifying experience you're looking for. Get it? Get it? Because electric, electrifying. <laughs> so therefore, we're going to have to explore. But this is, you know, what living with a, with an electric car is probably like. So let's see if we can find it now. Utrecht, be good to us. My pickup line for this girl is, what's your stance on chicken? <laughs> you think I'm lying? No way. Okay, let's hide the name. But just so you, you actually believe us, people. That's Piers asking a girl what her stance is on chicken. Great pickup. I'm sure that's going to go really well. But, uh, is it, I feel like it's important to know what you, a person's stance on chicken is. Like, well, that depends on what... I know you like chicken. No, but like I said, chicken is like the overall meat. If you go to a restaurant and you don't know what to take, chicken is always a safe bet. Careful, because a car, an old Opel, is never going to surface <laughs> on the internet. Yep, yeah, it is. <laughs> Got <he. laughs> This is a tight situation. See, if you ate more chicken, it'd be fine. That makes absolutely no <laughs> sense. <laughs> not reach. This is not happening. <laughs> that actually has changed nothing. We got oust. it. Oust. Oust. Quickly oust. That's a charging point, but there's people. That's not going to do. We've got a fellow BMW i person there, but that's not going to help us, is it? That is a lot of bikes. Oh, uh, we're still searching. It's about 30 minutes later. We've been driving around. I guess this is a problem you have to deal with with an electric car. And then when we get there, I think it's one to two hours to charge it. We are now crashing a hotel's car park to look for electric spaces. Yes, yes, and they're free. Well, I mean, like, not free, but as in available. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm trying to figure out how this could potentially work. Okay, yeah, let's see how long it takes you to figure it out. Oh, Cue the music. Yes, it is. Way! Okay, in you go here. That's in. Is that in? That's in. What's this? Scan punt. <laughs> what does that mean? I'm gonna call Amrit and ask him. <laughs> Whatever's fine. Hey! Random question. <laughs> what does scan punt mean? Scan point. We should have guessed that. Yeah, that makes a, a lot of sense. A point to scan. But what we scan is. Amrit, what's a scan? I need a scan punt. A scan card punt. It's on your key. It's on the key? It's on the key. You're waiting for how long? <laughs> Quite a while. <laughs> We just looked all around the car. We looked everywhere in the scan car. Punt. Where is the scan punt? Oh, uh, yeah, it, it says like charge, charge now. now. Yeah, that makes, yeah a, that makes a lot of sense. Oh. I'm, I'm going to punt my card right now. Oh, this is flashing over here. Is that flashing over there? Right, we're good. That's cool. Yeah, we're back. Oh, yeah. Remote control, no engine start. Okay, cool. We can do this. I think when we lock the car, the cable locks in. You get an electric car, you're gonna have to get used to having snacks while you wait for your car to charge up. You guys look so unhappy right now. But I'm with you. I'm always unhappy when I'm with you. <laughs> Instead of coming back an hour later, what we ended up doing actually was leaving it overnight because it was gonna take a bunch of hours. A bunch of hours. A bunch of hours, come on, mate. There's what we have, we left it at the hotel overnight. Now we have to pack all of our bags and head to Amsterdam to go to the airport. So we're gonna end this video here pretty much. Where's the key? Uh, oh. Hey! Whoa, look, the car opened with a key. Whoa. What do you expect it to do? Fly? Okay, there we go. 
One bag in. Nice, there. well done, congratulations. You deserve a medal. Right, 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 right. right. This is why the I is actually really good as a daily, because you do have a big boot if you don't have anyone in the back seat. There's no big boot. Yeah, in the back seat. That's not a boot. It's not technically a boot, we can use it as a boot. Also, it's electric. Oh, look at me, I can open the boot with my remote. Right, we'd ask to get in the car now. Can I turn this off? Yeah. Yeah, hey. right. Let's go. Bet. Once again, I'm back.